and then Munch came out six years later? Um, it wasn't quite that long. Um, it was a long dev cycle. I wasn't there for the whole of that. Oh, what happened to him? Oh. I don't think he's feeling good. No, he didn't. I think I smashed him. I didn't mean to. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, it did take a while, but I, I actually worked on the pre-production with about Munch. Um, spent a lot of time working with Lauren on, on one, how do we unify Abe and Munch together so that they needed each other? Um, what is the emotional attachment to this ugly little creature? Yeah. Um, and what is his mechanic that made him unique to Abe? Because he was supposed to inject something new. And we knew we wanted him as Abe controls nature with his portals and, and his chanting and whistles and all that. Um, Munch was to interact with technology. And, and so we knew that part. And, um, <laughs> oops. Back then, MIRC was kind of a chat protocol. It's still around, and yeah, I'm yeah. sure it's still heavily used by oh, yeah, quite definitely. a few folks. Um, back then, I would you know cruise around on MIRC to a bunch of different chat channels and stuff, and happened to come across one that was labeled Disabled Gamers. And uh, was kind of curious, what, what were they talking about? And popped in there, and this was after, I don't, I don't remember, Monday, Tuesday, or whatever, but it was a weekday and after work, and uh, they were talking about being underrepresented as characters in video games as a whole. Oh, man. Oh. And uh, I couldn't argue with them. I mean, I couldn't cite an example at the time of a character with a physical handicap that was change how a character played in a video game. Mm -hmm. there, there were not. Um, so at, at another point after hours um, hanging out with Lauren and just kind of talking about things, we used to watch a lot of like nature attacks videos and stuff, right. which was cool. Um, happened to mention it to him and talk about the idea of putting Munch in a wheelchair and how with the new dual analog stick controller, that kind of became a pretty natural motion of moving both sticks forward in unison as you would uh, wheelchair wheels. Right. Um, and, and so his, kind of, his eyes kind of got a little big and we started to realize that that both gave us not just a mechanic, but it answered the other questions of, well, now we know why he needs A to get pushed around, um, as well as the emotional attachment of, here's this cool little guy and He's handicapped, you know. He's he's got a, a physical disability, which doesn't prohibit him from contributing and, and being a hero, but definitely presents a different level of challenges that he may not otherwise, you know, uh, you may not otherwise experience in a game. Uh, so it was really really cool, and it, it was great to to see something come from that that was useful and ultimately, in my opinion, very successful and. People may not realize that that kind of was where the idea originated, um, and it because it doesn't really read that way in the game, in my opinion. Um, but that, to me, was pretty pretty cool moment uh, to have happen. So that, that meant a lot to me, um, and that was really what I did with Munch, uh, mostly. And at that point, I had moved on, um, wanted to kind of grow my creative wings and. Uh, look back at that time as I'm glad I did because I've learned a lot since, but at the same time, um, I have always missed working with the odd characters and always will. They are special.